Hello everybody, today we're going to be starting going through a massive reseller box. Um, so without further ado, let's get right into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet along with my wife, Angelique. Uh, it's called The Deegans, and it's linked below. Now, this is a pretty sizable reseller box. Um, it's 50 items, but we got two of them. One of them showed up a while ago, um, so we'll tack that on to the end of this series. And the other one I just finished shooting, so we may as well see what was in it and decide if it was a good box or a bad box. And um, I don't think this um, reseller wanted to be named just because they don't always do these boxes. Um, so I don't really want people pestering them. So if you figure it out, don't say anything. Just keep it our little secret. All right. So up. First is this Antonio Mulaney. Mm, I guess this is a mini dress. Um, and do I see anything unique about it? Uh, I don't really think there was anything super unique about it. Um, it's blue, <laughs> obviously. And it does have the kind of the fake belt uh, right where the waist would be. So, I guess it appears to have a belt, but doesn't. Um, yeah, that's just part of the fabric. So. All right. Up next, we have this uh, kind of, this New With Tags Calypso. Now this is, I believe, a Shaw. Um, it doesn't, doesn't have any buttons or anything in the front, so it's just sleeves, and you kind of wear it over something. I believe that's called a shawl. If I'm not, uh, correct me in the comments. But it's uh, just nice flower pattern, um, lovely pink, and I think if I could find the um, material, it might be, it might be silk. Um, let me see here. Yes, I was correct. This is 100% silk, so that's always a great thing to have on the listing because 100% silk is just, it's something, it's something people look for. All right, continuing right along, we have a Calvin Klein, size 12, another one of those mini dresses. Um, so this one is obviously black and white, um, has kind of that repeating Almost looks like a bit of a camo pattern, um, but that's probably not it, uh, being that Calvin Klein and camo don't really go together. And um, one unique thing about it is that it has zippers in the front and zippers in the back. And the zipper in the front has this big ring, says Calvin Klein on it, so every single person you wear this dress in front of will know that you're wearing a Calvin Klein dress. Very, very nice. Um, I don't think I've mentioned it. Oh, wait, is that? And just as I was folding this, I realized that this is also new with tags. So very, very good piece. Um, I should mention that in total, these two boxes were around $600. They each had 50 items in them, so it's about $6 an item, which puts it in line with a lot of our other reseller boxes, and uh, my hat was on crooked there, so I'll fix that and get right back into the box. Okay, up next we have a, what is this, a Carly Jean, a small uh, top. Yep. And this is one of those, um, slightly see-through tops, so you have to kind of wear it under something or over something, but it's, 
a flower top. Um, another one of the thing about these really thin things is that they breathe pretty well, so probably can sell them in the fall, so that's very nice. We are getting to about midsummer, so we do want to start looking at stuff that will sell in the fall. All right, up next is something I have a personal affinity for. If you've been watching my videos, you know it's Tommy Hilfiger. Now this is a nice Tommy Hilfiger sweater, and this will probably go in the winter. I mean, it's big, thick sweater, no flaws, really nice looking, new with tags. So all good things for selling something in the winter. So probably end up relisting that once we get closer to winter. Um, relisting has been helping us with a lot of our sales. We've been making a lot more sales and stuff that we relist. So definitely something, um, definitely something to do, but we won't not list it. Cause I mean, it could, someone could be wanting to shop really early. All right, up next we have this Rammy Brook, New York, and this is a lace, um, I, get, I think this was, is a dress. <laughs> yeah, this is a lace dress. Now, obviously very, very, very transparent. So you can see me moving behind it. Um, so definitely something you'd have to, again, wear with something underneath it, but um, nice lace design, nothing nice tassels at the bottom <laughs> um but i'm not familiar with that brand um i'm not familiar with uh, that style so yeah i don't i don't know um maybe it'll go in the summer it is it definitely breathes <laughs> so definitely something nice and cool to wear all right moving right along we have something else that should go great in the winter it is a patagona it, and this is, I, I've described these in the past as kind of ski vest, uh, because they're kind of a vest that goes over like a longer sleeve shirt, but not something that would be too restrictive if you were doing some like skiing or snowboarding or something. Um, so that's what I describe it as. Um, if I'm mistaken, you know, you can let me know in the comments, but it's a Patagonia, so definitely a brand that we have we don't have any problem selling. Um, now it does have the uh, zipper on the bottom and on the top, so it can um, kind of be opened up at the bottom if you want to show off your belt buckle, or it can be opened up at the top if you just want to um, get a little get a little bit of air. Um, and it does have it does have uh, zip up pockets, which again the zip up pockets that's another. Um, that's another um, skiing, snowboarding thing because, you know, you tend to crash and fall over and embarrass yourself and stuff will fall out of your pockets if you don't have them zipped up. And that is my experience with um, snowboarding. All right. Let's see what else we got here. Next, we have a pink dress. Uh, this is a... BCBG Maxima. I don't know how to pronounce that. I just call it Maxima. And this is a pink dress with one strap. So um, that asymmetrical design. Uh, it does also have the uh, little little bit of hole in the middle. Um, so I suppose a little bit of uh, that'd probably be like just above the no, it'd probably be the belly button. So there you go, little IG move. Not I Dream of Jeannie. She couldn't show her belly button because of standards of practices at the time. Um, but the single strap, um, single strap dresses are definitely one of those. They're definitely a thing. <laughs> now, they, they always confuse me when I go to shoot them because I just assume everything has two straps. And so when I go to shoot them and only have the one strap, I get confused. And um, yeah, it takes me like twice as long to shoot them because of my confusion. Confusion is super effective against Charles. All right, up next we have a Southern Tide. This is a medium blue striped, very thin striped shirt. Uh, I guess those would be pinstripes. 
Um, now it is a little bit longer and it does have the buttons on the, um, on the sleeves. So I always imagine shirts like this are kind of for gardening. You know, there's something you can roll up your sleeves with. Um, they go all the way down so they'll protect your pants and they do have pockets. You know, that's probably not what they're called, but I'll call it a gardening shirt. Could be a gardening shirt. Maybe if you're doing some gardening in the fall. I don't know, it seems like a little bit thick to maybe do any gardening in the summer, but definitely a spring fall item. Okay, let's keep going. We are about we're a good way through this. All right, up next we have a cabbie. Now this is a size eight. And it's another one of those, I'm going to call these mini dresses because, eh, no, maybe this one's just a top. Um, now, I am reluctant to call it a tank top because I believe the tank top has to actually have the two little spots that go over your shoulders, making it appear to be tank treads. I could be mistaken. I often am. Um, but this is a top. I don't want to quite call it a mini dress. Um, I know I did initially, but I don't think it's quite long enough to be a mini dress. So we'll just call it a top. And it does have that, um, that fake wrap that I always talk about where kind of the materials are designed to make it look like it's just wrapped around your body, but it's, um, actually just one piece of clothing. All right. Let's see. We have about one, two, three, four. Now we're maybe seven items left. Let's see if my estimation is good. <laughs> All right, up next, we have a Madewell. That's very nice. Um, new with tags Madewell, so very, very good find. Um, Madewell is an excellent brand. Um, sells, sells very well, um, and given that this is new with tags, and also in season. Um, so definitely something that we should have no problem selling as soon as we get it listed. Oh, I'm going to have to tell my wife to make sure this is listed soon. Um, anyway, blue, that blue um, crisscross pattern um, that I hesitantly call like a plaidish. Um, nothing else really unique about it. But always, always like find, always like finding those good brands, you know. Madewell is one of the brands that my wife tells me to keep an eye out for whenever we go to the thrift stores, which isn't going to be that often because we have so much inventory right now, but always keep a lookout for it. Um, it's something that we uh, can sell. All right, up next is a Tahari. Now this is an Arthur S. Levin, and it is a black dress. So number of great things about this item. One, Tahari. We just sold a Tahari dress today, and Arthur S. Levin, and by saying this, I am going to give you a hint at how big my backlog is, because you'll see that, you've probably seen that What Sold video, like, four weeks ago, um, so, <laughs> yeah, that's just how many video, how far ahead I record these videos. I don't mean to, I just do. <laughs> okay. Another great thing, black dress. Black dresses are what my wife calls essential items. There's something that every there's something that every woman needs in her closet. So something that will sell regardless of the season. And last, it's well, as I already mentioned, great brand. So definitely something, definitely, definitely a good, good piece. Mm -hmm. I am these last couple of these last couple of items have uh, really made me appreciate this box. I think it's a great box. Uh, I'm giving spoilers for the end of the video. All right, up next we have a Tommy Hilfiger size 14. Uh, we'll call this a mini dress now. This is new with a partial tag. Um, the tag has been cut, um, so I don't know how my wife puts those. She puts those as new with tags or new without tags, um, but. A Tommy Hilfiger, so really good brand. Brand I personally um, have an affinity for due to, you know, just it, being, it was in brand when I was in high school. And it's got that nice um, Tommy Hilfiger zipper tab. Is that what it's called? Anyway, flower design, as are most dresses. I think about 
50% of all dresses I see are some kind of flower pattern. That's probably not an accurate number. All right, we got two pieces left. So did I say seven? I think I'm closer to five. All right, up next is another Tommy Hilfiger, but this has a complete tag. So Tommy Hilfiger, new with tags, a sleeveless um, dress. Uh, it has the built-in belt. And you know, we just sold a couple of dresses in this style where it's the dress with no sleeves, um, kind of same material, has the collar. So definitely something that is in season. So something we will want to get listed right away. Probably by the time this video comes out, it'll be out of season. Um, but that's just the way it goes with the backlog. You know, I recently, uh, the most recent, oh wait, we have, we have another item hiding below this. All right, up next we have what I assume, huh, oh, I just had it upside down. Okay, <laughs> this is a cabby top, and it's that lace see-through pattern that we saw before. Um, now, so it's definitely something you would want to, um, definitely something great for warm weather, uh, but also definitely something that you'll want to wear underneath or over something. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, and the last item we have is a swimsuit. Okay, so this is a Rachel Pally. Rachel Pally. Um, a medium all white swimsuit one piece swimsuit okay so these oh and also yeah new of tags and still has the hygiene thing in it so definitely something we we'll want to list now this item i remember shooting this um it does have this was actually one of the first items I found in the box. I, I pulled out of the box to shoot. It does have one flaw, but it's on the inside. It does have, it looks like some, um, maybe just got a little bit of, uh, yeah, you can see it there. Maybe it just got a little bit of dirt on the inside. Um, maybe someone stepped on it while they were getting it ready to ship out to us. Um, or maybe, uh, maybe that was there from the beginning. Who knows? Anyway. It is a new of tag swimsuit, so and that stains on the inside, so I don't think that will really affect the sale too much. But swimsuits have been doing actually pretty good for us this summer, so we'll want to get this listed right away. So I'm actually gonna make sure that my wife has all these uh, photos so she can list them right away because there's a lot of good stuff in there. So the a lot of this stuff did have tags. It was new of tags, which is awesome. Um, and a lot of it was in season, so it's stuff that we want to list right away. Just flip this particular part of the box. I think the rest of the box is kind of all over the place as far as seasons go. Um, anyway, um, I don't believe we'll have any problem um, selling this stuff or making, turning a profit on this uh, box. So, very happy about that. All right. Anything in particular? Um, the... Uh, Nope. Good items. Good items all around. All right. So that's going to do it for this video. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment. All that stuff's below. You know how to use YouTube. Um, just make sure you don't hit the thumbs down button. That's the one button you don't want to hit. Um, and on that, I'm Charles, and I'll see ya.